Hey guys, what's going on? Carl Murawski here, and this week we are looking at things that are budget friendly. So on Monday, we looked at the Unique Low Merino Wool V-neck sweaters, which were an unbeatable bargain at $29.99. But what if you need to get into something more expensive, like footwear? Well, one of the best values out there is the Stafford boots. That's the JC Penny brand. Now, if you're somebody who can only spend maybe under $100 for a pair of boots, but you still want that look, if you're somebody who dreams about the Thursday Boots Vanguard that I reviewed a while back, but can't quite swing the 260 bucks that it costs, well, you're in luck because these are some decent boots. The Gunner is the one that I have. It's the cap toe boot with a little bit of broguing around it. The problem with cheap leather, however, is that most of the time it's corrected grain leather, which means that they actually stamp a grain pattern onto it and then they dye it. And they don't really take much care to give it marbling and, and variations. They just want to get one uniform color. And unfortunately, that's kind of the telltale sign of cheap leather is it almost looks a little bit too perfect. Perfect. So if you look at those Thursday boots, Vanguards, one of the nice things about them is they had all kinds of variations in the leather. So you'd see dark spots, you'd see light spots, and it had some marbling and it just looked very rich. And that's what you don't get with cheaper boots. However, there is a method that I've wanted to try for a long time. So what better place than here to try it out? And that is something that I read on Dappered about four or five years ago, where they actually use black shoe polish on a brown shoe to kind of like darken it a little bit and give it a little bit more character. That's what we're going to do today. Now, fair warning, do this at your own risk because I'm not going to be held responsible if you go and slather like some beautiful pair of boots in black shoe polish and it just does not look good. That's totally on you. Now the Stafford Gunner boot comes in what they call a cognac color. And that's really just a light brown with some yellow kind of overtones to it. I've been wearing these for about a year and it's the color is just one of those things that I've just accepted as it is what it is, it's cheap. I'm not gonna complain too much about it. I'd like to bring that just down a few shades, bring it a little bit more rich and uh, less on the, on the yellowy tan side and a little bit more on the coffee kind of side of things. So the way we do that is we take some black shoe polish and apply it to the leather. Now I actually tried this first with this Kiwi black shoe polish, which really just didn't work very well. This is cheap stuff. It's kind of a paste if you look at it. It's uh, like a waxy consistency. There's really actually not a lot. If you even look at it, the, the blacks aren't that black. There's really not a lot of pigmentation here. Again, it's a cheaper brand. So this works just fine if you already have black shoes, but if you're trying to actually alter the color of a pair of shoes, you have to go with something a little bit stronger. So for that, I, I went right to my favorite brand of shoe polish, and that's Sapphire. Now, Sapphire isn't really available everywhere. I get mine on Amazon, and uh, I think there are other places maybe you can get it, but Amazon seems to be the cheapest. If you'd like, I will put a link below where you can go and check it out. Their high gloss shoe polish is just amazing. And I got their black shoe polish for this particular project. Now, even if you look at this, can you see how much darker that is? I'm not sure how well it shows up on camera. It's a little bit more liquidy. It's definitely more pigmented. This is a very, very dark shoe polish. This is something that I mean, it's, it's got some serious dyes in it. So it's wonderful if you wanna really darken up your black shoes and if you wanna try something experimental like this, it's perfect. So the way we start this is we wanna remove the laces and then we wanna clean any kind of dirt or debris off of it. So we don't wanna be grinding in sand and dirt to our leather. We wanna keep it nice and clean. And uh, one of the best ways to do that is with a horsehair brush. Now, one of the things I'd like to mention here is anytime you're cleaning your shoes, Really, I have not noticed a difference between the expensive kinds of horsehair brushes and the cheap kinds of horsehair brushes. They really seem to pretty much do the same job, so don't worry about spending a ton of money on some fancy mahogany uh, handled horsehair brush. As long as it's 100% horsehair and they're very affordable, you're good, so don't worry about it. So what we wanna do next is we wanna take a dauber like this 
put this into the shoe polish and really just apply a nice even coat along the entire boot. Now take care and try to get it into all the perforations, all the broguing, especially along any kind of stitching or raw edge of leather because those are really gonna take the dye very nicely. And since you can't clean it out 100%, some of this is gonna stay in there and it's gonna add to this look. So make sure you get all those areas. So after you've covered the whole thing in shoe polish, you're gonna to wanna to let them dry. That'll usually take about 10 to 15 minutes depending on how warm it is, but let them sit. Let them just chill out for a little while and soak up all that goodness you just put on there. Okay, so the next step is to take your horsehair brush and just kind of start buffing these things. This alone will take off a lot of the black shoe polish. Next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take a cloth, or in my case here, I used an old t-shirt, and just start buffing these things. Now, you're gonna to wanna to take care to leave on some of the polish. The idea is not to remove it all. So you're gonna remove it to taste. You're gonna see where it stays, where it looks good. Don't go too crazy trying to get it off of every single surface that you have on there. You're gonna to wanna to leave some of it on. So remove as much as you think looks good and leave the rest on. Don't leave it caked on, but you're gonna notice the places where it started to dye the leather. Just leave those alone. And that's it, that's all you have to do. Now if you look at these things, you can see that they've actually darkened a few shades and you can see where all of the black shoe polish is left on there. So that's in little holes with the broguing along the edges. You look and you can see all of the edges that are darker now and it kind of just uh, fades off. There's just more depth to it now. There's a lot more variation in the color of the leather and that makes them look much more expensive. If you wanted to take this a step further and make them look even more expensive, you could just swap those cheap laces out for something nice. Get a nice waxed boot lace, or even if you wanted to, a leather boot lace, and that'll really dress these things up. Nobody's going to believe that you only paid $60 for these things, especially if you dress it up with some cool looking laces. And that's the whole point here is having the look for less. So really, you could take these pair of boots, when they're on sale, they're around 60 bucks. All of this stuff here was under $20, and for about 80 bucks, you can have a really nice looking pair of boots that is very, very similar to the Thursday Boots Vanguard that I reviewed a little while back. So if you go ahead and use this technique, please let me know how it works out. Or have you done this in the past? Am I really late to the post and like everybody's doing this and I just didn't realize it? Please let me know in the comments below. I really enjoy talking to you guys down there. It's been great to get to know you. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you next time. <laughs>